I was doing some 3D printing in clear, one of the things that keep, keeps coming up is that the 3D printing in clear resin, it tends to yellow. And even if you cure it properly, well, one of the things I did find, if you cure it in water, that helps. And I will go over that in another tutorial. But what I decided to look into this one is that when I do a styrene model, one of the things I do is I dip all the clear parts in future floor wax or whatever they call it now. And so I thought I'd give that a try. So what I'm going to look at first is this fox was 3D printed in clear resin. And when I did print it, it did come out somewhat yellow. So I went ahead and I had purchased some uh, clear UV resin clear uh, to paint over it as has been suggested. And, and it did a good job. It came out clear and it has stayed clear. But again, like I said, that this is a little bit expensive and can be hard to find. So I thought, why not try with a future? So that's what I'm going to do. The part I'm going to be showing you is this is a uh, glass piece for a resin print I started for the Gunstar on the last Starfighter. And it's been printed, washed, and cured. And um, you can see that it's not yellowed but it's not super clear either and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it in future so what i use is some of the tools i use is of course i have the future floor wax and I, i'm not sure what they call it now they change the name quite frequently um a paper towel to set it on a pair of tweezers to hold the part while i dip it and it's, it's pretty simple to do um we're going to pick up the part with the tweezers and then we're just going to dip it. And that's all I do. I just let it set in there. Probably need some more, but. And then on the inside, make sure it gets all. And the neat thing about this is that it will self-level. So now I've got it dipped. I'm going to drain some of it out. Oh, sorry. And then I'm going to put it on the paper towel to drain. Drain. And we're going to let that dry, and it, it usually I let it dry for a few hours, and then I'll go ahead after a while and flip it. And another thing that I do, just to make sure there's no dust or anything, is I take just a plain bowl, and I put it over like that, and that way it'll keep any dust or anything from getting on it while it's done. So that's about it. I'll come back and show you when it's done to see how it looks compared to our clear coat and our fox. So I've let it dry for about uh, 24 hours, and, uh, you know, it looks okay. It's it's clear, and um, so remember, this is one of the future. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to print another one and then try the uh, UV Ultra Clear and just see, compare those together, and then I can throw that on the end of this video so we can see how it compares. So, like I said, the future is not terribly bad, but uh, we'll see how it compares to the uh, UV Ultra Clear. Yeah, I decided to print another canopy just to do the comparison. And what I did is I printed this one and I sprayed it with the UV clear. And um, as you can see, it's, it's a little harder to tell on this video than it is in person. But it does have a yellow tint to it. And I don't know if you can again see that. But on the top of the canopy, when I sprayed the underneath side, it kind of hazed that part of the uh, canopy. It's not terribly bad, but it's still kind of got a yellowish tint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the other one out so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So here are the two versions. Again, it's it looks like it's kind of hard to tell here. They look pretty good on the video, but in uh, real life, the one on the left was done with the UV clear spray, and the one on the uh, right was done with the future floor wax. And, and you look at them... In person, one of the with the future is is much clearer, brighter, and I like how that's looking compared to the UV uh, spray. So I think when it comes down to it, I'm going to start using again the future for all my uh, clear resin. When I'm just going to leave it clear, and I think that's really the best, and it's also cheaper, easier to get. And um, again, when I do some other videos of this, I'll just keep plugging away and giving you some updates on that but i think future is going to be the way to go well, thank you for watching have a good day